GBP USD can be one of the pairs that will make money this week, or you can learn how to make money by analyzing the way I will show you. So pay attention and be ready to learn something new or be ready to even make money. If you're watching this video, immediately I upload it. So what you need to understand is that anytime a new week comes, you need first to highlight the pairs you'll be trading. We have more than 30, 40 pairs in the Forex market. We have so many indices. We have so many metals. We have so many commodities to trade by. But I just need you to really reflect on where, where do you start? You don't just start by trading. Today you trade Forex, tomorrow you trade metals, the other day you trade indices. If you're everywhere, you never master something. So you need first to, to master your, your pairs. And every week you have to ask yourself uh, this question, which pair will I trade today, okay? So GBPSD um, can make you money and I want to show you the opportunity that you have right there. So before I continue, uh, there are many people who are using my name to impersonate myself and scam people. This is the only number that I have, plus 254-700-344-066. And in case you need any course, you need any lesson from me, you can WhatsApp me. That's the only way you can know you're talking to me, by WhatsApping this number. The course is available. I sell $1,000 that course, the whole course that comes with a lifetime mentorship. And in case uh, with time, I will have new strategies, you will not pay anything. If you want only one strategy is $100. So don't be scammed out there. And I'm just putting this as a warning. If someone comments down and say, this is the number, of course, you will be able to verify. This is the only number that I have, okay, guys? So because this is a new week, uh, we need just to go to the weekly time frame and see what GBP USD. In fact, we are in a new month, a new week, a new day. So we start from the monthly time frame. And <clears throat> you can see for me, I don't know why. Um, you can see the market has come to retest uh, a place where the market had broken uh, in back in 2022. This is huge, guys. Market came to retest here. We can see evidence enough when the market uh, br breaks uh, support and then it retests. We can see when it retested, it went down with one, two, three. So the market sold for 1,128, that is evident that the market, if it comes to retest this zone, two things can happen. Either the market can get rejected or it can, the buyers can be so strong. So on the monthly time frame, you are still not sure, do the market wants to come to retest this area so that they can still continue going down? Or do, what, what, what exactly do we have? And and something that we are seeing very early, and I know this one will be cleared by the end of the September, we have a double top. You can see that double top. We have a double top. This double top, pay attention because it is one of the patterns that can tell us if this market will sell or will be violated. So we have that double top. And that double top, the neckline is here. So if we have like that, something like that, and... Um, you can see our halfway it is. So it's not a wonder the next candle, the September candle, it's not a wonder it sells back 534. But this is early stages of just uh, predicting the market. Remember, you will predict and when the market uh, do what you have said, you react and enter the market. So we are just saying there's a possibility of a double top. And I know you are seeing it clearly. There's a possibility of a double top. And that possibility of a double top, for us, we just need to see the market either uh, giving us an entry. And in this case, the market to confirm with the monthly time frame, we just need a candle that engulfs or even breaks there. That will be a confirmation on monthly. So either we are buying or selling monthly will not help us a lot because according to the pattern, we have to wait for a whole month for the candle to be either bearish in gulf or to break the half. So we are not lucky. Um, GBPSD checking on the monthly. So that's what we have on the monthly. If we come to the weekly time frame, when we come to the weekly time frame, you can see that the market, uh, the sellers have, 
have, have come in because yes, we broke this resistance. You can see the resistance was broken, but for a whole week, the market started to come down. This is what we can call a fake out. This we can call a fake out. Sometimes the market can break and then it goes down because sometimes you have fake out. And I think I will teach you on fake out because sometimes when they do this, majority of people will be looking for buy, but it was just a fake out. And that's why you can see the market broke and then it went down. And we have a lot of fake out. You can see even here, the market broke very well. And then we had a fake out. And you can see how fake out sometimes they take the market down because majority of traders, they are really hoping on the buy. They don't know when the fake out is happening. So fake outs are very strong. Also when they happen, it's just to tell you, be careful on this market. And then now we can see uh, on the daily, let's see, let's uh, see on the daily what is happening. You can see on the daily, the market has really gone up. When you say the market has really gone up, what? The market went up and our last support area is here. So if this market was to sell, it's coming up to there. If it was to sell, it is coming up to here or they can come to retest here. So this is the first area, 1.30, where we are thinking the market can come either to retest to continue because that is something that you need to put on uh, to be cautious about. What if it will come retest here and continue to go up? So that is number one thing. Number second thing, it can be coming here to retest again. So it can break here, come retest and continue. Okay, so we have two zones and to come to this area, it's around how many pips? 85 pips. So how can we take advantage of the 85 pips? We have seen that the market has already broken uh, support. Can you see guys? Already buyers on the daily time frame, we, ha we have seen support has been broken. Note this, GBPUSD is supporting sellers as we talk. It is supporting sellers as we speak because we have a support break. And when support is broken, it either come to the next support or come to the next area of retest. So what is what can make us enter up to here? What is that that is making us enter and make that 85 pips? So I want you to understand that on the daily time frame we have that breaking of support. These are support gaze and the market has broken it. So what, how can we, how can we guys uh, exercise our, our knowledge, the knowledge that you have so that we can enter this trade? I will take you to four hours and four hours is where I'm seeing everything clear. And you can see on four hour, we have this double top. So this double bottom can be used for two things. It can be used as a distraction or it can be used as a saving. So, and I will show you how this double bottom can be used as a distraction. So we have this double bottom and this is our, that's our neckline and we have our half around there. So our, that's our half. So we have this double bottom and you can see I have started to analyze from monthly. We have that double bottom and we have this one. So we just first need to understand, is it OPT? So GBPUSD, does it have double bottom that is OPT? So if I come to the daily time frame, you can see the double bottom is OPT because it's not anywhere on the, on the four hour. So if I come to the four hour, let's make it visible. Let's go on the daily. Can you see? We do not have a double bottom on the daily. So that is the first key. We have OPT double bottom. So this double bottom, number one, it can be a distraction or it can be something that we pay attention. How a distraction? It can be put there for you to, on, to only wait for the market to break so that it can come here, but it can also become a cup and handle. So how does a cup and handle work? A cup and handle works like this. Uh, first of all, a double bottom, if we use CRB strategy, 
the RB strategy. We're just waiting for the market to do what? We're just waiting for the market to break here so that we can enter. Just waiting for the market to break there so that we can enter. Okay, guys, that is CRB strategy. So this candle that is, so you will come back at 12 noon to check if the candle broke. If the candle broke, we have chances that this market will come up to there and it will go up to the half. That's number one. Number two, what if it does not break here? What if it breaks below? What if it breaks below here? Do you know what we have? We'll have a cup and handle. So cup and handle, they look like this. Let me show you how cup and handle look like. Where is that cup? So cup and handle look like this. So this is the, the cup. And this is the handle. So we have a small handle. That is the small handle. So two things, if we will have a cup and handle, the market breaks, it will go down. So in this case, nobody knows what the market will do. Even you, you don't know, you just need to wait. And once you wait, you go the direction the market is telling you. So we might have that. Can you see? So that is our cup in hand if the market break that box. So pay attention. So I'm so eager to see what will GBPUSD give us eventually. Will it give us a double bottom or will it give us a cup in hand? That is something that you need to understand. Will they break? Will they break? Will, 